Alright y'all, welcome back to the channel. So, Traxxas has announced, they did this yesterday, I'm just, had a lot of stuff I had to do, but they have announced a Fortech Drift. It's a rear-wheel drive drift car, which, they finally did this. I mean, I'm not into drifting too much, but I wondered why Traxxas never got to doing this, but they finally got around to it. So, I'll put a link below in the description if you guys want to go over here and check this out. I don't know if any point in time they'll do a Fortech uh, two-wheel drive vehicle, but... If this is a rear-wheel drive drift car, I don't know if they'll actually at some point do a rear-wheel drive Fortech vehicle. But uh, this is my first time looking at this. I did see a couple of updates out there with it. But for you drift guys, this is probably pretty good. I mean, I did see that it has a clipless body, and I'll show that to you in just a minute. But you guys see there it has a 60-plus uh, steering degree angle that's there. And they give you some of the specs. on. They probably should have called it the, uh, instead of the Fortech, the 2-Tech. Um, so, because it's two-wheel drive and not four-wheel drive um, with it. And then they give you some of the specifications. So, on their app that they have for their phones, that you can download the app and then see this information on your phone. So for, those, for those guys that are familiar with tracks and stuff, you can actually go in and set some of the steering angles, it seems like. And then a couple other things with this. So, this is probably going to be pretty good. And there's going to be the clipless body for it. So that's actually pretty cool there. They have that clipless body for because a lot of drift guys, they have magnets on top of, um, they have magnets to basically put their body stuff on because they don't have to worry about hitting stuff and the body and stuff coming off. But this clipless body is perfect for this type of vehicle. And there you guys see there, it has a TQI radio, but it says TQI radio with wireless module on it. So it has a Bluetooth module on it and it has an electronic handbrake. So they're not the first ones to do a handbrake arma actually did it um as well they did it on um a lot of their vehicles like um my brother mine's going back like the fire team stuff has a handbrake on it's just the third channel and another um small um servo that's in there for that but they have a handbrake on there they have it says hard and soft compound tires included so you seem to get two sets of tires with this and not just one so Traxxas seems to be changing a lot of stuff as far as their business models go because normally they would just give you one set and then say you can go and buy the second set. But it's not like they're including two with that, which is good. And there's going to be the layout of it. So it does replicate the Fortech layout. But you guys see there that it does not have the drive shaft, the center drive shaft in the center of it. And everything else seems to kind of replicate that. Now, of course, the front end was probably redesigned because it doesn't have any gears or anything in the front of it. And you can do that 60 plus degree angle. Now they may do at some point in time. I don't think they will, but they may have an upgrade kit where they make this a four wheel drive drift car. Um, but I doubt they'll do it, but here's some information on that too. And it's a 200 millimeter chassis. So you can fit a lot of the basic bodies and stuff on there with that. And it says pre-order now, it's available July 26. And $329.95 is a good price. So good job on that Traxxas with this because sometimes I was expecting this to be over 400 bucks. I really was just based off of it being something pretty new to them and, you know, the body design and also a couple of things that's going to be new to them and then including an extra set of tires and wheels. So good job on that price. So I think Traxxas is coming along and making their prices more affordable for people to go out or especially what you get with a TQI radio. That's about the price of some of their brushless vehicles, and you don't get the TQI radio with it. And I was trying to see about the different colors. I don't know if it's just this red and blue with it, but they give you information. I'm not going to go through all the specs of it because I don't have a car in hand, but the local hobby shop gets one in. I'll definitely um, just go up there and check it. I doubt they'll drive it, but I'll go up there and check one out so you guys can see it up close, but... Here's some of the information on some of the steering angles and stuff with it. So that's pretty good. I mean, it seems like they, they did innovative designs. I mean, I like their designs and what they do with their vehicles um, for it. And here's going to be, of course, a layout of the model here. It does come brushed, but this is a new motor for them. It's a Titan. Uh, it says Titan Drift 21 turn, and that's a 550 motor. So that is a new motor for tracks. They didn't just use a Titan 550 this seems to be a 21 turn. I don't think the other one was a 5. I think it was a 14 turn motor. So they do have a new motor in this. And of course you can go brush this with this. Brush this is not going to kill it there. But there are some of the specifications. on. Did I see an orange? Uh oh. I might be in trouble y'all if I see an orange. Uh, photo gallery. Let's see. Yep. There's an orange one there for this. So this body is kind of a 
uh, some Mustang body, but I want to check out. Yep, we got orange. We might be in trouble. Y'all may have to look at getting one of these if they have this orange looking one. Which, because you guys know I'm a, I'm a sucker for orange and red. And then, of course, blue, white, black. Uh, greens always last on my list. But this looks to be pretty good. I like that body design for it. So, anyway, I'm not going to continue on yapping about this. But put down in the comments what you think about this. I think Traxxas has been stepping their game up with their last couple of releases. With their BLS 2 models that they've released out. And now they got a drift car. So, the one thing I'm waiting on is that Bandit. I want to see a BL2S Bandit. So, hopefully, if they release that Bandit... Of course, it'll have a clipless body on it, but I want them to put hexes in those rear wheels and in the front. We don't need any more pins in there. So hopefully they do that. So it'll be interesting. So if the bandit comes out, you guys know I'm definitely jumping on that. But anyway, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, put your comments down below. Stay tuned for the next videos. As always, I appreciate you guys watching.